Hey guys, Susanna here. Um, I am back with my um, pink galah that I was doing. Um, here's a photo for um, one of the, for this the reference photo that I was doing this galah for. Um, and as you can see, they're sort of lighter pink on the top and pink in the breast, and then they got actually got grey wings. So you can see a little bit of a grey wing here, which I've done there, and then a little bit of grey I'm just going to put there as well. Um, I've started on it because I needed to do, I just had to check out how I was going to do it. And it looks a bit weird that it's got a bit of a red eye, but as you can see, they do have a red eye. So, yeah, they're an Australian pink galah. One of my uh, American friends didn't know what type of bird it was, but they're native to Australia and they are very pretty. They're like from the, the, the parrot cockatoo family. So what I've done, I've started stitching here. Um, I've gotten some old um, like cutters quilts that I had and I thought I'm going to do the beak. The reason why I'm doing that is so I'm going to start here and then work my way and I needed, um, where was the first one? I think I made a bit of a cut and I'll show you how I cut it. So if you, if you are planning on doing something similar to this I started just cutting them willy-nilly but then as they haven't got any stitching on them they come apart and so as you can see on here on these ones these have all got like stitching where are we but on these ones see they've all got stitching there so what I thought I would do is and I'm doing them in this type of shape like a feather type of shape so that at least the stitching is holding it down when I put it down so I mean even if they are a bit long I'm gonna stack I can throw away don't know how I go with that but that's and I'm gonna do the same with these ones like I'll do and try and get the ones the place with the light pink on there see it's got pink on both sides it hasn't but doesn't matter because we can add a bit of white in with it as well but try and get you can see it's a bit harder to see on that one but try and get in with the stitching so um, okay oh, I might use that side got a bit more pink on that side okay pink I'm just gonna chop up these pink ones because I need them I've got the, the lighter ones here and then the darker ones here and some of them are really long so I'll probably end up cutting them shorter and then I could probably even use a top end so cutting now the reason why I used cutters quilts on here because this stuff is thick I needed to make it the, the the same thickness and then this little bit here I just added some felt and even this the eye was a bit of I think one of these but I did take some of the padding out of it because it was a little bit thick it was from one of those um, I didn't want it quite so thick so yeah, here are the bits that I've cut out this is actually really cool with the back of that one yeah see I like that I don't know if you can see it's sort of really textured and and worn out I thought oh, I'll put that for the eye because it's, it's it's a little bit like bumpy but I'll probably do a you know still gonna do the stitching yet so okay now so I've got my um, bits and pieces We need a few more of these pink ones so I'm just going to continue to cut these there we go the end. I'm glad that some of these are a little bit smaller 
once again this is a white one and it's a small one but that's good you need small and that one I'll cut on the other side um, there and that one's a bit trickier got an extra little bit there and a little bit there so what I'm going to do okay so there you go learn as you go this is why I need to do stuff shake that off before I show you what I need to do I might put this underneath because I don't want the glue to get stuck to that and what I'm going to do is any of these little pieces no, not small pieces these ones because we need the light pink on the top okay now I wonder if we've got any light see we've got some lighter because that's sort of the color that's bleached through the top I might even use some of those not quite pink yeah these ones like that so because it's a little bit darker here so now see if this is working that too. Um, and just what for now I'm gonna do is try and so I want to put that in there, so I've got to round a little bit of that off, so that'll fit in there, probably a tad long, we want it a little bit smaller to begin with, and what I'm going to do is I'm just going to do a double glue, and then I'm going to come with it with that I'm gonna put that here that's why I'm not going to glue the top do a bit of a dog of glue and do a light one underneath it I'd like to keep that lower now we need a bit more of a, a darker pinky one perfect green there but it hasn't been stitched down so that makes it a little bit difficult okay, but it's okay it's all good I'm gonna do that for there and if we go straight across now it's a little bit funny to begin with but that's okay that'll fit in there because we are, I'm gonna hold them down that's what you've got to remember I like to keep some that have actually got um, some stitching underneath okay actually we might do this one here past and stitch some down so I want to give it a bit of a feathering look and it looks a bit weird at the moment but it's going to it will look better trust me now have we got any other pieces I think I'll use that for there but it needs more of a rounder shape so 
So we are just doing it as we go. There we go. Just a little blob of glue there. And then I need a lighter, lighter darker pink. Sounds really weird, I know. Um, a bit that needs something here but I might even when I do the stitching of these ones that go down I might fill in that part there so what I'm gonna do is um, where are we need a skinny long piece for here do round this off here like that in and come with that around probably do one more row and then I'll start with stitching I think I'll bring, after I've done that on there, um, I will, I need a skinny long piece. Is it stitched on the end? I think it might be. to curve around so it might be a bit big okay. and a bit wide okay I know it's a bit fiddly and whatnot but it's done. That one's sort of like a borderline one because it's just been caught with a stitch on that end so hopefully it should be okay. Now what I'm going to do is I thought I'll just show you See, that's why I needed um, stuff on there. So, with this one, I will start here. There's a bit of a gap. There's a bit of a gap here. So, I'm just going to start by filling that gap. with a satin stitch and when I fill it I'll hold the end of that down okay Oop. 
needs to go back over that black bit there I don't mind see I might even need to do some in here but I'm okay with doing um, a bit of satin stitch to fill in the gaps because I think that will look really good um, it's a very mandy oh, I don't know her last name I just got one of those books which I saw at her textile textile art books which she uses a lot of old textiles and bits and pieces to do her artworks so what we're going to do make sure that that doesn't fall down is just grab grab the pieces and we're just going to stitch them down very much and I did the same on here see how they're just just real rough type of stitches um, Maybe do a couple of ones that'll hold it down here. I sort of want them to, to go down, but at the same token, um, sit up a little bit too. Because we've got that feathery look. But I want the bases to be held down. So, okay. Okay. No, not even go into that same hole. Oh, sorry. Sorry, guys. I might sit down. You get the drift of what I'm trying to do. Okay, now go on to the bottom. Again. And hold it down there. Okay. I may end up going back up a little higher, but for now I'll bring the thread over onto the other side and so this is why I needed the beak um, put in because I needed somewhere for it to have a starting point from so I needed to put do the beak first so that we can um, have somewhere that we can put it start the feathers from it's always the way Oh, oh, look at it. It's like a jumbled mess back here. There we go. I think I'm going to have to pause and undo it. Yep. I'll be, I'll be back. Okay. Well, I managed to sort it out. And I'm just, at, for this point, I'm just picking up the little stitches along there. And then I'm going to go um, up a little bit higher. So, it's... That's the process that I'm going to do along here, and I'm going to do the same process. I think I've already got one where I've already cut it out. I don't know where it is though. Sort of like a U that I've cut out. I know there was one here that I had, had done. It's probably a tad long, but then I'll do the same you know along here except for with all the I'll do some smaller ones in these this part to begin with and then you know that'll be cut down it's just way too long and so the whole body is going to be bits and pieces skinny long bit And I just tuck in, glue down, and then come back. And it seems a little weird now, but it's going to make it. How does it look from there? Yeah, it looks it's quite textural. And even seeing the little bits of white on the side, it makes it quite textural. So, oh, look. That you've got the drift of what I'm trying to do. I'll do a little bit more to come up here. And then go down. It's just a basic, 
straight stitch that you grab and hold of the bits and pieces and this top part because it's a bit darker on the top part I'm using this one and then as I go into the lighter one I'll use that lighter that lighter pink okay grabbing grabbing the bits as we go down pulling them tight so we're stuck in I mean you are going to have um, straggly bits this is not for people that like perfection and in the past I have been one of them for me to do this is a very big thing because I like my bits and pieces to be a little bit more perfect so okay now that we've got the bottom just tied down I'm going to go up a little higher and maybe just grab a couple of pieces and pull that down in the middle sort of almost like a running stitch because it's so thick you've got to do one stitch at a time pretty much and then I'll go probably to about I've just stitched one there and I'll probably go to about there so that this little bit is still left down and I'll do the same for the other ones okay this one I might put down a little more because it's at the start and it needs to be pushed down and you can see some of the white from the actual quilt wadding but I don't mind that because a real parrot you actually see some of the oh sorry guys you see some of the white coming through anyway okay come up through here just catch it it's one of those ones that if you look really close it's probably not going to look great but it looks good from a distance one of those types okay I'll get as close to that little flap as I can but okay okay I think we're probably done for this video so I'm going to continue along and um, hold these guys down so at the base of them see when you first start you use the base whereas these ones I'm just going to be doing a stitches and if there's some bits that are there will be gaps I might do a bit of some more stitching like I did there but you come back and fill them in a little bit later but I really like it actually it's quite quite textural if you see, see what I mean how you've got gone from there now so holding that one down and now I'm coming back to this one I might come up and looks like it could use a little bit more here holding it down and maybe another one just here at the start it doesn't really matter how much you need but then as you go along you just grab you know a couple so I'll probably just do one two and then go back over here because that little bit this flap is open so I'll be able to catch the bottom parts and then do a couple of strands so you just that's why you really do need the bits that have got stitching already in them so because look see how that's falling up falling apart but it's held on there so I can get away with it I'll just do a stitch along there so there you go guys that's the beginnings of my little cockatoo so I'll continue to do there and I'm going to use that same method along here variegating in colors and I'll come back um, when I'm actually doing some stitching I'm probably going to do black around the outside and then I've got black in the middle um, and it needs that little glint so see how it's a little bit bumpy I'm probably going to do a couple of French knots and you know and, and sort of do it maybe not maybe not black maybe gray around the outside of that um, yeah 
so I just want to I mean try and get I mean it's very thick but I just want to get that feathery the feathery type of look and it's a great way to use up my little bits and pieces that I've got I think it looks pretty good so far okay guys I'll catch you later I'm just sort of I'm working on it so I'd take you along for the ride hope hopefully you got something out of it um, yeah let me know if you are wanting me to do um, a PDF of this pattern for on my Etsy store okay guys thanks very much for watching and I'll catch you later bye